Welcome to the Art Project. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoy this video. Hope it's helpful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be making a uh, copy of these of this eye and nose and mouth that are on the left side of the paper and the grids on the right side of the paper. This is a excellent way of learning to manipulate value, learning to manipulate a pencil, um, learning to trust your eye and coordinate your eye and so on. So I put some dots in the corners of uh, where you know where each line would cross at each intersection uh, just so I could lay out the uh, drawing of the eye just a little uh, light drawing of the eye before I got started the important thing is not the outlines of the eyes one of the things that you got to be careful about is doing an outline there are no outlines in real life uh, at least not very many usually and so the outlines that I give just are direction for where to shade and what I really want to do is I want to match the values of each area uh, that's in the eye on the left. I want to match that value in the eye on the right that I'm drawing. And so I don't want to get too crazy with outlines. I want to look really close at the different shading. I want to put on my in my little rectangle the exact same value to the best of my ability with this pencil as the values on the um, photocopy in the left. And until you do that, it's not gonna look realistic. The object of this game here is to make the most realistic looking eye that I can by manipulating the values, the shading and the uh, darks and lights and medium grays and just like being able to manipulate the graphite for my pencil. Uh, and speaking of pencil, I used a Ticonderoga pencil to uh, to start this with, and I and I was thinking that I could get the values I needed with it, but I could not. Um, I should have enough experience to have known that to begin with, but I don't know. Maybe I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to do this with you know what we normally have, and if all you have is a regular pencil, then you know by all means just try to do the best you can with the pencil that you've got. But eventually, I. I got just so far and decided, you know what, I need to switch and use a, um, a darker pencil. So I started using a 6B pencil. Um, something else though to point out here while we're on the eye is the use of white. If you'll notice, I am completely covering all of the white in this picture, in this little rectangle, because in real life there is no white. The white of my eyes, the so-called white of the eye is not really white. It's a, uh, on the left side of the eye there, it's dark gray. Uh, and on the right side of the eye, there's some shadow from the eyelashes. And then the part that's supposed to be white is not as white as the highlight in the eye. And so uh, I like to tell my students, this is something that uh, a friend of mine told me, and I thought it's just great wisdom when it comes to shading or even when it comes to painting. Um, the only true, when you're doing a painting, the only white you're going to use, the only white you're going to leave behind is the white that's either an actual light source, like uh, from, a, from the light bulb of a lamp, and even then, usually just the very center of that light bulb where the actual light is on, or if you were doing a sunshine, you know, uh, if the actual sun was in your picture, you wouldn't do it yellow which is what we typically do as little kids. I mean, we think of the sun as being yellow and that may be true, but it's, it is shining all of the light. And then the only other place that you would actually do white in a painting like this or in a um, drawing is a highlight. So like, for example, the highlight that was in that eye, that's the only white spot on that whole rectangle is the white of the eye. I mean, sorry, the the white of the highlight, the, the uh, misnamed white of the eye is actually gray of some kind. And so here on the nose, you can see a little highlight right down there on the nose in that second square from the bottom in the middle. Uh, that highlight is the whitest spot that you have on this whole drawing. 
and even it is probably not as white as that highlight that was in the eye in the first drawing at the top. So with that being said, um, I took a, an eraser, an electric eraser to uh, erase that little spot. I kind of messed up and I got, it went, it went rogue on me. So I uh, had to blend it back in with my blending stump. The blending stump comes in real handy because I can actually blend, I can spread some of the graphite onto the uh, wider areas and get a very, very light gray that I can't really get with just my pencil. Like if I'm trying to shade it with my pencil, I'm gonna end up making it too dark. So I just kind of shaded everything in that was dark and then I used the stump, the blending stump, to spread some pencil over to where it needed to be. Uh, and then the last one I'm going to do here is the lips. Uh, the lips are pretty crazy. Uh, they, they're probably the easiest of the three things to draw, but if you're not careful, you'll end up with some really cartoony looking lips. Uh, and so if you look at this real close, you'll notice that uh, the lips are not just this stylized um, you know, outline of lips, the lipstick actually goes kind of out of the line in some places or um, sticks out or there's, there are wrinkles in the lips. If you look at the lips real close, you'll see all these little wrinkles. And uh, so if you want your lips to look realistic, you can't just, you know, spread one value of color over the area. You have to get in there and tweak all of the little values, add the wrinkles, add the little lines and the darknesses and so on. And so uh, that's it. Um, when you're doing this, just pay real close attention to the values and try and draw the values where they are, where they're at, or it's going to look like a cartoon. Uh, that's it. Now it's your turn to go make some art, to go do some shading. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share this with your friends, and thanks for watching.